It's your boy JT. And uh, unfortunately, I have to make this video, man. You know, I uh, I listened to Paul Counter's video and it was great. Dead on. A lot of it was, I agree with almost everything he said. But uh, this is about the Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather fight. And why I think this fight is never going to happen. I mean, <laughs> sorry to break it to you guys, man, but it's just the truth, man. You know, I got to keep it raw and uncut. But uh, let's get right into it, man, because I can talk about this for hours, man. But I'm going to try to break it down as simple as I can for a lot of you guys, man. <sighs> All right, man. First and foremost, public perception. I think that's the key reason and the key tactic that they're using in this fight. They have to keep a certain perception to the public and uh, about Manny Pacquiao, man. I believe this the only reason... That this fight is not happening at this particular time is because of Manny Pacquiao in top rank. Well, actually, I'll say if I was to put the blame on anybody, I'm talking since 2008, uh, I would say it's probably 90% Manny Pacquiao in top rank. One in other videos that I've made, I've told you that. Um, you know, Manny Pacquiao, he doesn't have his business together at all. So really, he has no leverage at all. You know, Bob Era makes all the, the decisions and Michael Contz and all that. So, I mean, that's a whole nother story. You know, that's just really just one part of, of, of this whole thing. But uh, public perception, man. First of all, you got to understand that Bob Arum has been around boxing since the 60s, you know. So you have to understand that this man, he knows boxing. Trust me, Bob Arum, like him or hate him, he knows boxing. He knows boxing. What I'm saying is he knew damn well that Manny Pacquiao had no chance to beat Floyd Mayweather. He knew it already. So what did he do? He constantly brings up Floyd Mayweather every time Manny Pacquiao fights. Especially more so after he beat Oscar De La Hoya. You know. He constantly brings up Floyd Mayweather to sell a fight that's never gonna happen. He knew that he knew that Manny Pacquiao never was gonna be Floyd Mayweather. He knew it. He knew that, you know, Manny Pacquiao makes too many mistakes to just be easy work for Floyd Mayweather. So he has to put out the perception that Manny Pacquiao won. He's competitive with Floyd Mayweather, talent-wise, in the ring. Two, that he's making a certain amount of money so that he can have leverage negotiating other fights because he never had the intention of making the Floyd Mayweather fight. So he puts out the perception to the public that Manny Pacquiao is making a certain a whole lot of money when he's really not. And that's truly what I believe. I really don't believe. I believe Manny Pacquiao is getting robbed out of a lot of money. And he's. You know his business. Is not. Savvy or he doesn't. Or either he just doesn't care. That he's getting robbed or I don't know. But. I believe that Manny Pacquiao is getting robbed out of a lot of money. And. Uh, Bob Arum. 
is putting out the perception that he's making 25 or 30 million dollars when he's really not. I truly believe that. I really don't believe Manny Pacquiao has made $25 million in any fight in his career. I mean, <laughs> they always say he can make up to this amount or up to this amount. But if you look at the Nevada State Athletic Commission, it's always a different number. A much far less number like 5 or $6 million or something like that. So, that's just part, part of what they're doing. So Manny Pacquiao comes out, he fights a bunch of fights at catchweight. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's all bad, man. It's all a con, man. It's all a con. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are taking a bait, but I really never even thought the fight would happen ever. You know, um, back in 2008, uh, you know, it was uh, 2009, it was a slight chance. But, you know, Bob Arum, he, he knows, man. That's his horse, dude. You know. Manny Pacquiao loses to Floyd Mayweather. He's going to lose a lot, man. That's, you know, he's going to lose a lot, of, a lot of luster, man. You know. He's going to lose top rank a lot of money. Look at all the Filipinos who were behind Pacquiao with this fight. You know, they run around saying gay weather, flow mo. Look at some of you idiots saying that. It's just, <laughs> it, every time you see a, a, a Floyd Mayweather or a Pacquiao video, look how many hits it gets. And they, they know that. So, They are taking that and they are making money off of that. They are promoting that. A fight that's never going to happen. So that people can keep feeding into the bullshit. People can keep taking the bait. They keep saying, we're going to make the fight. How long? I mean, how long have they been saying that? You know? And it's just like Andre Ward said with the Edwin Rodriguez fight when he was pricing himself out. If two people want to make a fight, it's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. You just saw that HBO. They said they'll never work without him and again. But you just saw Edwin Rodriguez versus Andre Ward. Money talks, man. And what the main problem is, is that they are making money saying that off Mayweather's name. Basically, they're saying Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Mayweather. Every single fight, every single fight, they bring it up. They're going to fight Mayweather next. Or your next fight is going to be Mayweather. And they say 2014, 2013, 2012, end of 2012, end of 2000, beginning of 2013. It's never going to happen, man. It's never going to happen. You know. And I think uh, the reason is, you know, mostly Manny Pacquiao, man. I mean, I can't put all the blame on him. But like I said, like 90% is top rank in, in Manny, Manny Pacquiao is the reason why this fight is not happening. You know. Like I said, I just feel like Bob Arum, he doesn't want to lose his horse. You know, that's his main guy. That's his top draw. And he loses the Mayweather, which will probably be a, a very, very embarrassing loss. Because it probably won't, most likely, it won't even be competitive. I mean, I don't think Manny Pacquiao, if he doesn't get knocked out, he doesn't win more than three rounds. You know, so... What he's going to keep doing is selling the shit to the public that they're going to fight, and it's never going to happen. He's just going to keep fighting the Bradleys, the Rios. By that time, another guy will be coming up. He's going to probably fight Bradley in April. I mean, before Manny Pacquiao is even done with the fight, they have another date already set. <laughs> what type of shit is that, dude? 
He fights Brandon Rios and he say, oh, we're bringing Manny Pacquiao back April 6th or whatever he said. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Everyone knows that Mayweather only fights in May and September. So there you go, man. That should tell you everything right there. I can guarantee you that that fight in April won't be Mayweather. <laughs> after he's done with that, after he's done in April, he's going to say, uh, next day or, I mean, the day after that fight ends, you know, say, oh, we're going to bring Manny Pacquiao back in November. <laughs> so, y'all can keep taking a bait all you want. The fact of the matter is, Manny Pacquiao would never fight Floyd Mayweather unless he leaves top rank. Which I don't think he has the balls to do or the intelligence to do. I think he's just content with what he has. And that's it, man. You know. Only way I feel is that if this tax issue is true, you know, then that might force him into a corner where he has to make the most much, most money he, he, he possibly can. And... He's going to have to butt beg Uncle Bob to allow him to fight that fight. So, yeah, man, that's all I got to say, man. It's your boy JT. I'm out.